2002 was a landmark season for California football as the Golden Bears, under first-year head coach Jeff Tedford, engineered the greatest one-year turnaround in the nation. Over the course of the season, the Pac-10 and nation found out that the Bear was back in Berkeley. Whether it was the wide open pass attack or the gritty ground game, the Golden Bears found a way to rack up the points in 2002. Cal's new look, high powered offense reeled off 36 points per game, finishing 10th in the nation and was a scoring machine inside the red zone. Under Jeff Tedford's guidance, quarterback Kyle Bowler flourished in his senior year shattering the school's touchdown record and rising to number two on Cal's all-time career yardage list. Inside the 50, Kyle Bowler ready to attack, going deep. Caught by LaShawn Ward, touchdown! What a throw. You want to know why he's going to be a top 10 pick in the NFL draft? Because of throws like that. Uh-huh. More than any other player in the conference, Bowler was three times named Pac-10 Player of the Week. Tom Swoboda led all Pac-10 tight ends in receptions and touchdowns. And tailback Joe Igber rushed for 1,130 yards for the season and finished second on Cal's career rushing list. The Golden Bears defense was reborn in 2002, playing with wild abandon. In a single season, a team that was last in turnover margin was the Pac-10's best and number seven nationally with a plus 18 turnover margin. The Golden Bear defense racked up 36 takeaways, including 15 interceptions and 21 fumble recoveries, which led the nation. The Cal defense shined when it mattered most, as many of their takeaways took place in the red zone. Yeah, now Walter play action, sacked again! Fear reigned in the pocket as Pac-10 quarterbacks felt the pain of the Cal sack attack. Cal's D-line punished opposing signal callers with 44 sacks on the year. In the secondary, bone-jarring hits were the order of the day, sending a clear warning to the Pac-10, don't feed the Bears. Cal's special teams hummed like a well-tuned machine in 2002. The Bears were first in the Pac-10 and fifth nationally in kick returns, and all was a threat to take it to the house. Cal's punt return squad was also among the Pac-10's best. Together, the kick and punt return squads posted five returns for scores. The Bears were also the best in the conference in kick coverage, as opponents always had a full field to work with. Cal's special teams recorded four block punts and three block kicks on the year. And there's a block punt by California. It is picked up and run it for the touchdown. Huge, huge.
Jeff Tedford, what a job he's done. Guy that attention to detail, made a family atmosphere, communicating with all these players. The success in 2002 began a year earlier when the University of California placed its football future in the hands of new head coach Jeff Tedford. I have a goal and a vision that through hard work and dedication can get to where we're competing for the Pac-10 championship and at a national level. Cal football opened the Jeff Tedford era on August 31st against Baylor. And from the first play from scrimmage, it was apparent a new attitude was in place in Berkeley. Throws a quick pass to the sideline, and Williams is going to pass it. The left-hander sends it downfield. He's got an open receiver. It is caught, and this will be a touchdown for the Golden Bears. Five into the end zone. Touchdown, Bears. They go to David Gray. Kyle Bowler passed for 213 yards and three touchdowns, and the Bears racked up 460 yards of total offense. The Golden Bear defense added to the scoring frenzy, tallying four interceptions, two return for touchdowns. That day, the Golden Bears unleashed a scoring assault on a stunned Baylor team. At halftime, the score stood at 49 to seven, and by the end of the game, the Bears had tallied 70 points, the second highest point total in school history. I want to just let you all know how excited I am to be here and how much of a great opportunity I believe this is, that we can get this turned around and head it in the right direction. One week later, the Golden Bears played host to New Mexico State. And once again, the Bears dominated from the start, rolling up 34 points. The 15 and Bowler throws to the right sideline, caught with John Ward, touchdown Bears! This time he says no rainbow, drill it to him, and he did even with double coverage. At the Aggie four, Egbert slides, slices, touchdown, California. The stingy Cal defense yielded just 13 points, led by a career day from defensive end Tully Banta Kane with four sacks and a fumble recovery. Despite another dominant win, the skeptics continued. The word from the press was that this team had not yet been tested. I am here to provide leadership to create an environment for these athletes, both athletically and academically, that they can flourish in. The test came in game three, as the Bears traveled to number 15 and Big Ten powerhouse Michigan State. As a national ESPN audience and 72,000 green-clad Spartan fans got their first glimpse at the Golden Bears, the stunned Spartan saw Cal surge to a 25 to nothing halftime lead. The first half outburst began with Jameel Powell's 90-yard punt return for a TD, the Bears' longest in 36 years. It's a long race down the sideline if they got the angle. No! 10, 5, touchdown Bears! Oh, what a bonanza! How about that by Jameel Powell? From there, the Bears dominated all phases of the game. The Cal defense forced five Michigan State turnovers on the afternoon. Michigan State opened the second half with two touchdowns and a comeback effort, but Cal responded with three consecutive TDs to wrap up the 46-22 win. Third and seven, Bowler's gonna throw now towards Ward, got him another first down, and he's free on the sideline. Gets inside of right, and LaShawn Ward scores another touchdown for the Golden Bears. The national TV audience witnessed the Bears dominate a nationally ranked team on the road and were named Football Writers Association of America's Team of the Week. The press wanted a test, and the Bears aced it. And Cal football is back. This is some of the most hard-nosed, aggressive, tough college football playing I've seen in many a year. And so California pulls a stunner back in the state of Michigan, 46 to 22, and we'll be right back. After finishing the non-conference slate at three and one, the Bears opened Pac-10 play against Washington State. As they had all season, the Bears jumped out to an early lead, and at halftime, the Bears were on top 21 to nine.
part of the Cougar defense. But in the second half, the Cougars battled back to tie the game late in the fourth quarter. With four minutes to play, Wazoo took the lead for good. Despite the loss, the Bears had taken one of the nation's top-ranked team to the wire, showing they could match up with any team in the country. Our team will be disciplined. Our team will play hard. They will play fast. They will play smart. They will have a lot of fun, but they will do it with class and something that you can always be proud of them. The Golden Bears returned to the road to face yet another top-ranked team. This time, it was number 12, Washington, a team with a 17-game home winning streak, the longest in the Pac-10. But the Huskies' home dominance ended that day as Kyle Bowler again led the charge, throwing for 266 yards, a career-high five touchdowns, and once again named Pac-10 Player of the Week. Receiver and Igber on the flea flicker, back to Bowler, and he throws way down all alone to McConan. Touchdown, back! McConan all alone behind the defense. They bought the flea flicker completely. Bowler, and he's going to send it all the way down to the goal line. Open man. Touchdown, Bears! Svoboda, the tight end for the Bears, is so alone it was like he's in a different stadium. And the Bears have another score. The Cal defense harassed Cody Pickett, the nation's number two passer, all day, forcing two interceptions and logging five sacks. As the sun set on Husky Stadium, the Golden Bears celebrated a 34-27 victory in the Pac-10's toughest road venue. They all have the will to win, but the will to prepare to win is what they have to have, and that's key. And that's something that we're going to make sure that they have, the will to prepare to win. After dropping a two-point game to USC on a controversial call, the Bears return to Berkeley for homecoming weekend. Bear fans and alumni from all over California return to campus to soak up the Cal game day experience. On football Saturdays, the city bustles with the anticipation of another kickoff in Strawberry Canyon, named the best place to watch college football by Sports Illustrated. Early in the morning, pre-game parties are set up and tailgating Cal football fans take over Berkeley as they prepare for an afternoon at Memorial Stadium. That weekend, the homecoming crowd and a national TV audience watched Cal and UCLA battle head-to-head -head for in-state bragging rights. The Bears jump to an early lead. Bowler, a three-step drop, throws deep middle. He's got a receiver over the middle at the five into the end zone. Svoboda, touchdown Bears. 24-yard touchdown pass, ran right down the right hash mark and scores. But both teams' prolific scoring attacks took a backseat to a defensive battle, a battle won by the Bears. The California defense limited UCLA to just 29 yards rushing and a paltry 226 yards of total offense. Cal held the Bruins to their lowest point total of the season and posted seven quarterback sacks. Cal defensive lineman Tom Canada was named Pac-10 Player of the Week as he logged two sacks and forced two Bruin fumbles. Late in the game, the Golden Bear defense staged a heroic goal line stand to preserve the 17-12 win. Chara with a pitch to Ebel, cuts back to his right, sweeps the corner, and runs into trouble and is dropped by Hosey back at the six. Second and goal from the seven. On the ground again. Inside the five, down to the four-yard line, tripped up Tyler Ebel. There's the snap. Kick is blocked! The kick is blocked! They don't get anything! Can you believe it? 7.54 to go. A goal line stand by the Bears after a blocked punt that put the ball at the two, and UCLA gets nada. From there, the Cal faithful stormed the field in appreciation. Midway through the season, it was clear that something special was happening in Berkeley, and the Bears received a much-deserved bye week. 
The week off gave the team a chance to heal wounds and get back to life on campus and be just students for a week. The University of California is world renowned as one of America's finest universities. And Cal football players compete with the best and brightest on the field and in the classroom. In 2002, Cal football showed its winning form as once again the Golden Bears led the Pac-10 in all academic performers. I'm going to put together a staff that is going to care about the young men both on and off the field, that are great teachers, that are interested in their academics, that are interested in these kids, how they grow up, and that we can make an impression on their character. Refreshed after a week break from football, the Bears found themselves on the road again to face yet another ranked team in Arizona State. As they had all year, Cal more than met the challenge, and in front of another nationally televised audience, the Golden Bears drubbed the Sun Devils with a 55-point scoring assault. Kyle Bowler matched his career high with five touchdown passes, and for a third time was the Pac-10 Player of the Week. Now Bowler tries to dump it off to Aper. Aper sprints to the end zone. Scoring came from all three Golden Bear units as safety Namdi Asamwa intercepted a screen pass and raced 85 yards for the score. He will go the distance! What a turnaround! And special teams recorded a block punt for a score. And there's a block punt by California! It is picked up and running for the touchdown! For the third time on the year, the Bears reign victorious over a top 25 team on the road. We're going to play four quarters from snap to whistle, or as long as it takes to win. The kids are going to play very, very hard. But we're going to be explosive on offense. Um, we're going to be multiple in our sets, whether it be two backs, single back, no backs. And, um, and we're going to be able to run the football and throw the football. <laughs> They call it the big game. And for 105 years, California and Stanford have battled for the rights to the ax. When game day arrived, 72,000 Cal fans packed Memorial Stadium to see the Bears finish their winning season by recapturing the ax. After this game, we all look each other in the eye and we know that we held the rope all season long. Very proud of you. Seniors, you've done a great job. Love you all. Let's get after it. Our house, our ex, let's get after it. Let's go Bears! Get right now, baby! The Bears left no doubt who ruled the day as they jumped to a 23-7 halftime lead. Spike going deep to the end zone. Hit. Touchdown! Bowler's going to throw, steps back in the pocket, has lots of time, now lofts it for the end zone, he's got a receiver, touchdown Bears! LaShawn Ward has his second touchdown reception of the game. Mandarino and Aker in the eye. There's the Jones, the secondary, and he is gone, jumping for a touchdown catch. When Jameel Powell opened the second half with a punt return touchdown, all the Cardinal could do was pray the game would end quickly. Some early group, and now he's gone. He's to the 40, 45, 50, down the sideline. He's to the 30, he's to the 20, 10, 5, touchdown Bears! Stanford and the ABC TV audience knew they were in Bear territory when with 11 seconds still on the clock, 
the Cal faithful storm the field to celebrate with their team the return of the Axe and the greatest program turnaround in the country. This is the way to go out. The way, the way they wanted to go out with the victory and with the winning season. And they can look at it and say, hey, we helped turn this program around because they can see that Jeff Tedford has it on the right path. We were the, the class that made it happen and helped turn it around. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, Coach Tedford. The fans eating it up after a 30 to 7 victory. There's the act. Right back to Berkeley. Awesome job. I can't tell you how proud I am of you guys. Hard work. Like you talked about trust, trust level as we all got this thing started. You guys believe. Great season, seniors. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. You have a home here forever. You know that. Love you. Cal Football 2002, the bear is back.